Hey guys, in this video today we're going to be fixing the Samsung 55 inch curved TV. This model is the UN55NU7300, but I've also done this exact same process on the UN55NU7100 as well. And here's the problem. When I turn it on, you're able to see the backlight come on just a little bit, and that's really it. Like you see on the right side, there's barely any backlight. On the left side, there's nothing at all. So what happens on these TVs over time is that they burn out. And what really happens is the LEDs are pretty much gone. Since we see some LEDs, we see some indication that the TV is still working, so we can just go ahead and replace the LEDs. These are the tools you need to complete your project. You have the spatula, a cone tip, a Phillips tip, another Phillips tip, and a flat tip. And of course, you're gonna need a flat surface to lay the TV on, just like this couch that I have here. First off, we're gonna take these two legs off using the Phillips head screwdriver. Next, we're going to use the flat tip and the cone tip to be able to remove the back panel. So first we're going to have to pop it on one end, and then using the help of the plastic spatula and the screwdriver, we'll be able to pop the rest of the back of it. So I'm starting at the bottom here, and just making my way along the side and then just popping the rest of it as I go. There's gonna be some ridges where you're gonna hit like a roadblock. You're gonna pull the screwdriver out, go over that ridge and continue on. And now I can pry the whole back off like this and just put it aside for now. Next, we have these two ribbon cables towards the bottom. I'm just gonna lift with my nail here upward on both of these ribbons and then just pull both of the ribbons out. Then we'll take the speakers off by pulling up on these blue tabs. There's two on each speaker. So I'm just lifting them both up. They just come straight out, just lift that aside. And then for the second speaker, I do the exact same thing. And then I remove this orange plug from the main board and put the speakers aside. Next, we have these metal bars in place. There's one on this side and one on the other side of the screen. I'm just gonna remove the two screws and then lift this bar off and we do the exact same thing for the other side of the TV. Then we have another metal bar here. Just lift these white tabs like this, and then you're able to pull the metal up. That should be able to free this whole metal bar that spans the whole width of the TV. There are two pieces of tape that look like this as well that have to be removed prior to pulling out this board. And remove this plug from the front too. Now I flip the panel back over. I still have the board still on the back of the TV. And now I'm facing up where we have these plastic tabs in gray color, which we have to pry out just slightly and then push that gray plastic bezel upward. And with that action done, we're able to fully remove this plastic bezel. We're just going to just push up, push on the panel very carefully. Don't push too hard or you might crack the panel. And then you'll be able to free the whole plastic bezel and then put it aside. These boards come out very easily. Of course, you wanna make sure you don't damage the ribbon cable, so pull it out as I do here. We lift just slightly and then we're gonna pull it out towards the bottom of the panel. Next, we want to lift this panel onto the free space that I have on the couch or bed or whatever flat surface that you're working on. So I laid down this white clean sheet that I'm able to lay the panel on. Then I lifted the panel just enough to clear the top frame and then just dragged it all the way to that white sheet over there. Didn't want to lift it too much or else I knew I would crack the panel. Next, we have this white sheet that is held in with these clips. There's one here, second one here, and the third one over there. We're just gonna move that all the way over to where it is sitting over there. And over here, we have yet another sheet that we have to move up. And now we expose this plexiglass panel, which is cracked because of probably stress or heat or something like that. 
And other than that, these are the other panels sitting where they should be. Now I have this white frame along the edge. I'm going to be removing the sides first by prying up on these clips. With that white frame out of the way, we can see how burnt this plexiglass frame is, which is sitting right next to the LEDs. And we can see the stress cracks as well. So we can see it's an ugly. If we look up close at the LED strip, we can see that the LEDs are obviously burnt and this is the reason why it's not lighting up. So here's the clip for it. You just have to push down with two fingers and then just pull it straight up. Very simple. And using the flat tip, we're able to just pry this LED light bar off and then totally remove it from the frame. And now we compare these LEDs on the left, which are the old ones, to the new ones that are on the right. So huge obvious difference between the old one and the new one. The new one, I actually bought it for $30 on eBay. The LEDs have little notches on them, so when you're putting them in, there's only one way that they can go. It's very hard to mess it up thanks to these notches. So once you put it in, then you wanna push down just to make sure that it's secured in place. Now it's time to reassemble it. We're putting the clips back into the LEDs. There's one on this side and one on the other side. Here's a view of all the LEDs back in place. This is the new set of strips, all good, all looking good as well. Now we'll take that plexiglass board and put it back on here. Of course, we put this bottom white frame in place, snap it back in, giving these clips at the bottom here. Then we'll be able to snap in the two side pieces. All we have to do is line it up and then push it down until it snaps. Then I took the two white panels from over there and I laid them back on here properly. Of course, clipping these top clips back into place. And then I carefully dragged the panel back into position, of course, with the ribbon cables hanging off the edge as they were earlier. The gray plastic bezel is now back in place and we're just gonna have to push down to snap it back in. We will now tuck these boards that are lining the bottom of the TV back into their position. Just have to slide them back into where they're supposed to go. Reset this tape so now it's touching the panel once again on this side and the other side. And now our TV is starting to look like a TV again. We will now reconnect these two ribbon cables at the top here, as well as the IR sensor. Then we'll take this long metal bar and then just put it back where it's supposed to, covering these boards. There are these little notches here where they're supposed to slide into, so it's tough to get this one wrong. Then we have these white clips. We just want to make sure that this metal bar goes into those white clips all the way across the bottom. Then we'll take these metal bars, put them back where they're supposed to, screw those two screws down on each side. Okay, so now we've screwed these two in place and that's in there. We also have this in place and then the screws are also in there too. Next, we're gonna put our speakers back. We're gonna put this connector right here. Okay, and then we're just gonna line up these areas and then push them down. Likewise over here, we have this and push that down as well. Okay, so power cord goes in over here. We're just gonna put it right there and then we're gonna plug it in and see it. So if you remember earlier how the burn part was on the bottom, this is what it looks like with the burn part on the bottom. There's a yellowish tint all the way across the screen and it doesn't really look that good. So what have it, that is how I fix the LEDs on the back of this TV. Just wanted to walk you guys through it. Hope you guys like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.